In the discussion on the work done by or against gravitational force, we saw that if we lift a body through a given height then the body is able to do work. For example, if the body is attached to a string passing through a fixed pulley then it can also lift and accelerate another body attached to the other end of the string, or move it over a surface of a ramp overcoming friction. A stretched spring is also able to do work if it is released by accelerating the body attached to its free end. If we push a cart on a table then it will able to coast up a ramp to and reach a given height, or compress a spring with one end fixed. In these examples, we can see that the lifted body, the stretched spring and the traveling cart are capable to do work, that is these bodies have the capacity of doing work against gravitational, frictional and elastic forces. Then we have the following general statement. If a body or a system of bodies in a given state has the capacity for doing work under certain conditions, we say that the body or the system has energy. The energy E of a given body or system is measured by the work done by the body or the system when it is brought from the state A into another reference state A0. We can choose an arbitrary state as the reference state A0 so that all possible states of the body or the system could be compared with it. In other words, the energy of the body or the system is measured by the work done against the forces acting on the body or the system while is it brought from the state A to the reference state A0. Therefore energy is a quantity which has the same nature as work, and its unit is the same. If we use SI units then energy measured in joule. When we studied the concept of work in physics, we saw that any object at a given height above ground is able to do work because of its position at the given altitude with respect to the level of the ground. Similarly, the different parts of a stretched or compressed spring also have the capability of doing work due to their relative positions with respect to each other. In these or similar cases we can talk about the potential energy of the given body or system. If a body of mass m at the height h above ground is at rest, we can say that the body is in a state a. Here we choose the state where the body is at rest on the ground as its reference state a0. Then we measure the potential energy of a body at the height h above ground, that is in the state A by the work which is done by the body when it falls from the height H to the ground, entering the reference state A0 from its initial state A. We can determine this work as follows. When a body descends from the height H to the ground it can lift another body attached to the descending one with a string passing through a fixed pulley with a negligible mass, provided the other body has the same weight and the bodies were set in motion by applying a slight push. Therefore, the body does the work by lifting the other body from the ground to the height H that is bringing it from the state A0 to the state A. This work is given by the mass m, times the magnitude of the gravitational acceleration g, times the height h, which is called the potential energy of the body. Then the potential energy of a body of mass m at the height h above ground is equal to m times g times h. Since the reference state used to define the potential energy of the body is the state of the body at rest on the ground, the height h is measured from the local surface level of Earth. As a result, this choice provides a local definition of potential energy with respect to the surface level of the ground in the lab, where the experiment measuring the potential energy is performed. In the general case, the reference state of a body can be chosen as the state of the body at the average sea level of Earth. Here no reference on the local surface level of the ground is applied, and this choice provides a global definition of potential energy. As already mentioned, a stretched or compressed spring is also able to do work, where the equilibrium state of the spring is chosen as the reference state A0. The potential energy of a stretched spring in the state A with the displacement X0 is measured by the work done when it is stretched by an amount of X0 from its equilibrium length. Since this work is equal to 1 over 2 times the spring constant K times the square of the displacement X0, the potential energy of the spring in the state A with the displacement X0 is also given by 1 over 2 times K times X0 squared. A moving body is also able to do work due to its velocity, representing another form of energy called kinetic energy of the body. We already determined the work done when a body of mass m at rest is accelerated to the speed v, which is equal to 1 over 2 times the mass m times the square of its instantaneous velocity v. Here the reference state a0 of the body is the state when it is at rest. This work can be used to measure the kinetic energy of the body in a state a when it moves at the speed v, that is the kinetic energy of the body is equal to 1 over 2 times m times v squared. The potential energy and the kinetic energy are the two different forms of mechanical energy possessed by an object due to its position or due to its motion.